Hello, students. Today I will tell you how to deal with a hyperactive kid. Let us know about this in detail. Hyperactivity is a state of excess activity that may be manifested by symptoms such as fidgeting, jumpiness, nervousness, or excessive movement. It is often accompanied by difficulty concentrating or focusing on a task, excessive talking, or difficulty remaining quiet in school. However, it is important to distinguish true hyperactivity from the active and impulsive behaviors exhibited by normal children. Physical hyperactivity isn't the only concern. Hyperactive kids also experience racing and rarely singular or linear thoughts. The idea of shutting their minds off is a foreign concept to someone who is hyperactive. Because of their hyperactivity, Kids can have a hard time in school where sitting still is non-negotiable. They can miss much of what is taught simply because their brains are not as stimulated when they are still. Parenting a child who's hyperactive is no doubt exhausting. Here I will give you some tips which will help you. 1. Have a clear understanding of hyperactivity. Being hyperactive is not the same as misbehaving. It is analogous to feeling an intense itch and not scratching it. Even if you don't scratch it, you'll be so distracted by wanting to. In addition to educating yourself, educate your child as well about why they're hyperactive. 2. Create more engagement. Hyperactive kids are usually more engaged when they're moving around a bit than sitting still. Get creative, experiment, and go with what works. 3. Ignore the hyperactivity. Sometimes the best solution is just to ignore it. For instance, when your child is having dinner at home, if they're eating their food and not misbehaving, let them stand or walk around the table. 4. Get rid of excess energy. You can burn off some of that hyperactivity by allowing the child to be more active before they need to sit still. The important thing is not to fight hyperactivity by telling your child to stop fidgeting, be still, or stay seated. In fact, simply saying sit still can be invalidating and lead to self-esteem problems in kids.